Alright guys, so welcome to another video. We're doing top 10 free games from the App Store. I'm joined with... Scribble! A new member of the Hornet crew. And I need to tell you something. This is completely my opinion. The, there is nothing, uh, no research really done. I just um, enjoy these, playing these games. Or I have enjoyed them and they've been really fun, really. Um, go check them out after, at the end of this video. But I hope you enjoy. And, um, let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Number 10. Europoly. Europoly is a family fun game. You may know it is Monopoly, but for copyright reasons, they called it Europoly, and they've put it on the App Store, and it's still family fun. Number 9. A bike race. Bike race. Bike race is um, pretty much what it says on the tin. Uh, it's a racing game to do with bikes, um, and um, as you'll see here, this is bike race. Um, again, as it says on the tin, I'm just going to show you the first level. But basically, um, there, there are the instructions: so it's right to go forward, left to break, uh, lean right to lean forwards, uh, lean left to lean backwards. So this is all on on the computer. Number eight. Geometry Dash. Okay, um, it's actually Geometry Dash. Good try, though. Um, I'm pretty sure most people watching this will understand what this game is, so there ain't much of an explanation needed. But if you need one, you're a small block, you jump across courses. Yeah. Pretty much it, but it's a puzzle game. and Well, kind of. It's um, more of like a strategy puzzle game type thing. You need to know what to do and when. It's very hard. The spikes are like... Really yeah. Hard to get uh, if you want to understand it more, um, I'll do a video on it later. Number seven. Pain. Uh, pain is pretty much what I'm using right now. Uh, it's fun. Well, it can be. Uh, yeah, there isn't really much to say about this, but it's what I'm using right yeah. now. So why it's, not? It's really helpful as well. Yeah, it can be helpful in different ways, believe it or not. Um, so yeah. On to number six. The Epio. The Epio is first of the .io series. You may have heard of Agario and Sliverio. Uh, you're basically just a tank and you level up as you go along, as you would have guessed. And um, yeah. as you level up, you get more powerful. And I don't you're know. like this guy. Yeah, the guy like in the bottom being, right, the cat yeah. in your fingers, by the way. <laughs> basically, she's on about like, um, you're either this guy. Or this guy, and um, yeah, it can be quite fun. To be fair, um, all you have to do really is try and get that person out. The hard the part, but the hard part about it is um, you're online, so this is a Wi-Fi required game, um, much like our number one and number four. But anyway, it's um, it's a fairly hard game. But I mean, over time you'll get used to it, and if you can level up like um, like this guy, and just all you need to do is just leave your game, walk off. Ten minutes later, you come back and you upgrade loads. It's like you can get that up here, really, but it's hard to get there. It's like, yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, you don't really know what you're saying, do you? <laughs> okay, and now we're on to number five. Angry Birds. Angry Birds. Um, kind of said that a bit early, but oh well. Uh, Angry Birds. I'm basically on about the full saga here, as you should all already know. Um, the Angry Birds. This little red dude right there. Is um, this little dude? This is called. Um, but news? No, you... I think it's called Red. Yeah, it's called Red. Yeah, they've got really weird names, but um, this yeah. Is a weird one. I don't know why, but it was. Real. Do you mean the triangle one? Yeah. Yeah. There are different birds. Um, but why would you have a triangle bed? I don't know. Uh, they've, they've got strange colours and shapes, but you know, um, it's a fairly fun and addictive game if you're going to look at it on the long shot. They've and got, why would you call the, a bird bomb? Good question. Good I'm not too sure. But anyway. Um, we've got like we've got that original Angry Birds, the new Angry Birds two. I think it's new. I think it is anyway. 
Uh, got Angry Birds Transformers. Oh. Pretty bad. Bad remake, but it's it's all right. I like um, the Star Wars one. Yeah, there's Angry Birds Star Wars. That one, that one was pretty cool. I Angry Bird, I like Angry Birds Space as well. <laughs> but yeah, the the full saga is really fun Just and addicting. What forever Angry Bird is yours? Favourite Angry Bird? We'll have to pause the video, I don't know, I'm gonna have to think. Well, my favourite Angry Bird has to be like the big red guy, you know, the fat guy, I think it's called Terence. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's quite yeah. strong. Uh, what's your favourite? Um, all of them, I can't say which one, I just like all of them. Okay. My most favourite is Bomb. Bomb? You mean the Bomb. black guy, the black, yeah. like the black bird? Guy. Yeah. Yeah. Bomb. It's fun because he hits it and then he goes red and then kaboom. But um, anyway, on to the next um, next no. thing. Uh, number four, okay. We're now on to number four. Number four it is. Clash of Clans. There we are, Clash of Clans. Um, you may know what this is. Uh, I've got the creators now, but anyway. Uh, you may know it or you may have some like Kling, Kings, Boom Beach. Clings, I meant say Kings. Uh, Boom Beach, they're all made by the same uh, creators. But um, Clash of Clans is the most memorable for me because it's one of the originals. And um, yeah, bad drawing down there. This <coughs> one right here, nice bad drawing. But um, anyway, Clash of Clans. Yeah, Clash of Clans is a bit like a defense game, really. You start off. It was just like oh, a small so base, and you and you, yeah, you like build up to like a massive base with better troops, and then you attack other people. It's quite it's quite hard, yeah, or it can be, but um. Do you have uh, to like you're the pet, you're like your character, you know, off your X Xbox. Yeah. Like your name, Xbox. you have your own like name. I'm on Clash of Clans right now. Um, I've restarted, but I'm on it and. You know, the beginning is quite hard, but once you go through it, the only hard part is collecting resources. But, um, on to number three. Adventure Capitalist. Adventure Capitalist. Uh, it's a tycoon, really, as said here. But, um, Adventure Capitalist is a tycoon where you try and gain money. Um... Like on Roblox, if you've, if you've played Roblox... And, and you've played tycoons play like that, yeah. basically, you have to build stuff to make money, yeah. then use that money to get more money, hire managers, and then you end up going to Moon and Mars and doing pretty much the exact same. Over time, it does get repetitive, but a few years back, I just loved it. I couldn't get enough of it. But we're now on to... Number two... Infe infection. Infection. Infection, as you may, as you see, like there, is um, basically where you kill people. Um, the full aim of the game is to kill the world's population, um, like the entire world's population with your own infection. But um, as you go along, cures may start being made, so you need to try and prevent that. Uh, my tip, spread it to everyone on the world, then start making it infectious to so start killing people. At that point, they won't know what to do. You was playing this yesterday, weren't you? Yeah, I was having a look at it to see if it's anything like what it was. You, but, and then you said, um, I killed all the people in the world. Yeah, I killed the world population. Yeah, that's um, pretty much the aim of the game. Uh, some people might find it depression, de depression, depression, depressing, depressing. But um, what was I saying? De uh, some people might find it depressing. Uh, but others may find it fun. Number one. Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. Or oh, in this case, Squirtle Go, just because I like Squirtle. But in this case, I call it Squirtle Go just because I like Squirtle. Um, Pokemon Go is like, actually, like, is like, uh, like... I know what it is, but I can't explain it for some reason. No, reasons. I can. Basically, uh, it's your all-time, all-timing favourite of Pokemon Go. Right, forgot where we was, but we've got, like, crisps and sweets now, so... Yeah, we're going to have to maybe cut this a little shorter than I'd hoped, but, um... Pretty sure you all know what Pokemon Go is. You walk around, you, um... You catch Pokemon, you, uh... 
battle gyms and yeah it's pretty much your average Pokemon but it involves you moving about which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time as I'm pretty sure all you Pokemon Go fans already understand. Like. But, um, yeah. Alright guys, so welcome to another video. We're doing top 10 free games from the App Store. I'm joined with... Scribble! A new member of the Hornet crew. And I need to tell you something. This is completely my opinion. The, there is nothing, no research really done. I just um, enjoy these playing these games, or I have enjoyed them, and they've been really fun, really. Um, go check them out after, at the end of this video. But I hope you enjoy. And um, let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. All right, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm just gonna start playing Anchor Base right now, but thought I'd do the outro now. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment because I'm planning on doing a Q&A but that can only happen if I can get people to comment questions so it could all be, it would just be wonderful if that could happen but um, yeah if you enjoyed the video uh, leave a like and um, I'll see you next time.